Yo, what's up, guys? I am Curry Man the Gamer. Yo. And we're gonna play. Ooh. Is it gonna say the title? Can you say the title? Yeah! Sky there Wars it's Sword! Sword! Yeah, this is because Lucas said he didn't want to play Mario Galaxy, so if you want, if you prefer Mario Galaxy, yell at him in the comments. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, we also may or may not finish this series, depending on <laughs> how bad we are at this. Nah, no. we gotta finish it. We'll just come back to it like a year later. If if this if we end up being super bad and like it takes too much time, we just want to end it. Oh no, our battery. <laughs> Fee's gonna yell at us. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be there. There is a tale that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. I've never played this before. Well, I've played it, but like I've only got the first part. It tells of war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. I took a really sharp inhale there. Oh. Oh, we got it! <laughs> On dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. Oh! Oh, listen to that orchestra. That's pretty nice, though. It mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into a deep despair. Oh, no. Have we played any other Zelda games on this channel? Uh, have we? No, I don't think we have. Yet. They burnt the forest to ash, choked land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. Also, Luke's move a little closer over here. Okay. Because the microphone's in a different spot. <laughs> that guy looks like he's doing, like, the little, the little rock hands. He's like, oh, yeah, rock on. Oh, uh, I thought he was doing the sun salute from, uh... <laughs> <laughs> from Dark Souls. From Dark Souls. Which is like a T-pose in a Y. Yeah, which is like a... They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by Her Grace, the goddess. She looks like the one, the Yiga tribe, guys. She does. She looks kind of like that. She looks, she got she little, looks little just head, like it. Little head bits. <laughs> the head bits. The power she guarded was without equal. Now that's good. Handed down by gods of old. There, this power gave its holder the means to desire... Uh, make, nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Any desire reality. <laughs> Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. <laughs> to prevent this great power from falling into the hands of evil swarming the lands. Oh! The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. And then... She sent it skyward, sword, beyond the reach of demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> she sent it skyward sword roll credits <laughs> the stupid Wiimote battery thing is still going oh my god with the humans safe the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought in the evil forces stealing them away <laughs> look at how sad he looks <laughs> at last peace was restored to the surface it's like abstract art it's like you know the painting the scream yeah, the scream <laughs> <laughs> that's what that looks like <laughs> okay it's been so long There's since we've recorded just be the a really battery good thing there the whole time. <laughs> it's a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. By the way, your battery's low. No, your battery! There feeling? are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Oh. That's good. Now, a legend bound to this great story stands to be re ready to be revealed. I can't read, guys. Dude, we should do the Zelda games in the order of the timeline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing, right? Legend, <laughs> Legend that, that we forged, forged by, by your own hands. <laughs> we both of us read that because we're like, this is going to disappear fast. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing, right? We're yep, playing all the, the Zelda games Zelda in timeline. timeline order. Yeah, that's what uh, we're doing. Next up would be... Oh, God. Don't, don't quiz me on this. Uh, is it Four Swords? No. No, it's Mi Minish Cap. Minish Cap. Minish Cap. It's Minish Cap. And Dude, I like Minish Cap. I want to play Minish Cap yeah, anyway. Yeah, Minish Cap, though. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, let's quit this. Let's play Minish Cap. Yeah. Oh, this Wii. Oh. It doesn't work with the pointer. It works with, like, motion controls. Wait, I want to change our name. Linkle? No, I want to do something. Lonk. No! No, the batteries! <sighs> They've left this world. They were warning us. <laughs> they did warn us. I'm going to take the batteries from the other Wiimote. <laughs> So it's so Oh my god, these batteries are old. Holy crap. <laughs> we haven't used these since like 2011. <laughs> go go throw those away or something. No, nah, I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. Battery acid. You know, usually we cut these out, but I'm I'm pretty sure we'll probably Yeah, we're gonna I'm just gonna eat these batteries. Alright. Oh my god, look at how much brighter that light shines. Oh, we gotta place it on the floor. 
Man, I love video games. <laughs> Me too. All right. Uh, what Lank. do you think? Lamb. Lamb. Lamb chops. La no. La Liam. Loik. 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 <laughs> no. Liam. Liam. Lindsay. <laughs> Le Linka. Lonk. Lonic. Lonic. Like Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No wait, give her the. Oh, I was gonna say oh. give her the K, so it could have been like Sonic. Oh well. <laughs> oh, it's trees. Oh, it's trees. It's dark trees. This is dark trees. Yeah, it's just how the game looks already. Yeah, all right. I thought it was like a weird shader thing with the TV. <laughs> I look back and Whoa! It's teeth. Oh, it's a, it's a big teeth. It's a big teeth. Okay, yeah, we are recording. I always have to go back and check. <laughs> I forgot to turn on a timer. I'm an idiot. You this, always do this. I do this every time. Where's my phone? Where did I put my phone? <laughs> I'm back. They're all going crazy. Uh, Legend of Zelda, 25th anniversary. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad they put that in there. That'll date the video because it's it's the 25th anniversary right yeah, now. Yeah, we're recording this on the 25th anniversary. Yep. Dude, I was like 12 on the 25th anniversary. Way to date this video. <laughs> Way to date this video. Oh man, look at those! Look at those beautiful geese. Look at those geese. That's that's what they are, right? <laughs> we're riding geese. Yeah. I think we're secretly riding geese. Technically, the they're actually called loft wings, and technically, they're technic. It's. I think we've been recording for seven minutes. Is it picking up the game audio? Possibly. If it's not, we'll fix it. I'll. I'll da, here, I'll sing da. it. <laughs> Is that Japanese or gibberish? I can't really tell. <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. I'll be the game audio. It's like, I think there was a couple episodes of Mario Rabbids where we didn't pick yeah. up the game audio. And it was just <laughs> Which like... is a shame because that game had a great sound. Oh, Grant Kirkhope is my man. Oh, look at those bird statues. <laughs> they don't look like birds. The Boyds. Boyds. Bing. Hey, look, it's me. Hey, look, it's Lonic. Hey, hey, it's Lonic. 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 Oh! Rah! <laughs> look at how scared he looked. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, you, you say that. Rise, say. rise, Lonic. The time has come for you to awake. What's Fee's voice like? I'll do it. You are fated to have in the hand the great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Lonic. <laughs> I love Lonic. I say we should have Siri do it. Or Alexa. Yeah. yeah. Alexa, say this. Alexa, can you read these lines real fast? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was. I felt like a Pikmin edit right there. Yeah. Like I said, they'd edit the cutscene in Pikmin. We should play Pikmin 3. Or we should skip Pikmin 2 and just go straight to Pikmin 3. Pikmin 2 is long. Pikmin 2 is long and Pikmin 2 is scary. It used to be my favorite, but I think Pikmin 3 is my favorite now. Hi, bird. <laughs> yeah, he just spits it at you. The shading on this is pretty good for a Wii game, not gonna lie. Yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah. If this were a Wii U game, oh my god, it would be beautiful. Or if this were a Switch game. Hey, sleepy head. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine. Rise and shine, Lanik. <laughs> Today's wing ceremony. <laughs> you promised to meet uh, before it starts, remember? I was doing like a flirtatious voice. You're doing. Uh, like... I'm doing Valley Girl. <laughs> you better not keep me waiting. You better not keep me waiting. Wink, wink. Zelda. I like that I like the Valley Girl better. I do let's too. Let's add the Valley Girl. The Zelda would be Valley Girl. Ah! Oh, I tried to shake ah! the first thing I did was I tried to shake the Wii remote. Oh my god, look at that giant stupid Weaver remote on the right of the screen. It's Twilight Princess had it too. Yeah, oh, dude, I remember how bad the graphic, yeah, well not the graphic design, the UI on these old Wii Zelda games were. Oh look, Dash can make me run at the same speed. I can't move any faster by Dash. <laughs> why did they, why did they do that? People say nowadays Nintendo's too minimalistic with their designs. 
But oh my god, <laughs> this is so bad. I, I like it better that way. Yeah. I've, you know, people used to complain that Mario Odyssey had a bad, it was bad design-wise, uh, graphic design, well, UI design, I guess. Yeah, oh, you just needed to add a giant Joy-Con. <laughs> yeah, just put a giant Joy-Con on the right of the screen. I, oh my god, I can't, I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I've never played this game, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He said go to the thing, right? Yeah, we might actually have to read the dialogue, maybe. We do have to read the dialogue. Because you played a little bit of this, right? Yes. I played this... I've made it up to, like, the third temple in the game. I played through, like, the tutorial, like, five years ago. So... <laughs> <laughs> I love Skyloft as a hub world once you get later in the game. Uh, the last time you played this was, like, two years ago anyways, right? Like, no, one, two it was, years? like, four months ago. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, have really I went bad... back and made it to the third temple. <laughs> I have really bad sense of time. Um, hey, bird statue, I think you're supposed to do so with this, right? Yes, that's how you save. Okay, I don't want to save right now, though. Because what if the video gets corrupt? Yeah. Hey, Lonic! Up here. I'll do a voice for this guy. Yeah. Good morning to you, Lonic. Today is finally the day of a long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. This is something I'd like to ask you about. Look at this way while pressing and holding... Z oh, it's a tutorial. <laughs> oh, it's just a tutorial. I got excited. Okay. Excellent! Always remember, you can press Z to target something. Once you've targeted someone with Z, you can easily talk to him or her by pressing A. And is there anything to target? Pressing Z can make you face forward. That's how they do it in every Wii game, since Pikmin 2. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? This is the majority of this episode is going to be stupid tutorials. Probably all of the episode. Yeah. I don't even think we're going to make it to Zelda. Well, what do you think? Using A to dash is useful, isn't it? Ah, uh, but don't dash around so much you tire yourself out or your stamina gauge will empty and you'll be completely out of breath. It's best to... Oh, I looked away. It's best to take a little break when your stamina gauge gets empty on that point. You can jump a sword distance like this by moving to it. I know how to auto-jump, dude. Yeah, this is before they added the jump button to Zelda. Ah. I'm not talking to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to Zelda. I don't want to talk to you either. Ah, stamina berry. Stamina fruit. I'm <laughs> Stamina sorry. berry. Stamina fruit. I've never played this game. Well, I have been like. Like for three seconds. Five years ago. Five years ago. Hey, we did make the Zelda. <laughs> oh wow! I was wrong. Oh! I thought that I, for some reason I thought there was more in between us. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, is the music even the Oh, wait, I'll sing it. No, I'll sing. <laughs> you sing it. Oh, you guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky. And sky. Bring the light to the land. Bring light to the land. Oh, uh, goddess. Okay. Hey, good morning, Lonic. I'm glad to see my loft wing in red that you can barely read. <laughs> <laughs> Got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument. And look at this outfit. They're mine to use today. <laughs> In this, we have that raw voice <laughs> in this ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess they it sounds like Burger King foot lettuce <laughs> number 15 <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce <laughs> right, keep going. aren't they beautiful especially this instrument a 4 channer upload a phone <laughs> they tell me it's just like the one that the goddess was said to have had in the legends <laughs> It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. harp. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta both read the ones in different. And look at these clothes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so much like your Burger King filet. I made this wrap myself. <laughs> and we got to use it in today's ceremony. <laughs> Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. <laughs> I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Lonic. So how do I look? 
Uh, uh, or you can say, uh. Yes, uh. 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 <laughs> really? You know, maybe it does look a little weird. <laughs> He's like, mm hmm. Yep, alright. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you prepared for today's ceremony? I don't even know who this is. I'm I in think this that's voice. Zelda's dad. Is that... Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, father. <laughs> Roar, Lonek, you're here too. Outstanding. Oh my god, you look like a bald eagle. <laughs> it's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. <laughs> no doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. <laughs> oh my god, you look so terrifying. <laughs> If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race post ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. <laughs> yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> Recently, Lonic hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his lapwing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda, though you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. <laughs> And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you know him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Lonick and his loved wings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. The special I love this voice. connection. The loft wings. <laughs> the people. <laughs> And As you know, each of us in the Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian, guardian birds. birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us is a symbol of a divine protection. It's like a weird religion. It's like, the gods will give you a bird. <laughs> when we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm so sure clearly, you recall. So not many children are, are getting their loft wings today. Ha, but that first meeting between Lonick and his loft wing was extraordinary. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. Is a breed so rare? We were sure for some time that it vanished from the line. Yes. And the boy and his bird seem to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Lonick and his loft wing of his first met? Oh, what a sight! The little boy just hopped onto the bird and flew away! <laughs> they were met for each other. <laughs> Judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Oh, please, Zelda, say something. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I love all this exposition, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, it's taking forever. This has been like the whole episode is this exposition. It's almost over. <laughs> We're almost out of time. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you aren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Lonick and his bird. <laughs> Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> This is literally episode one. Three seconds of gameplay. This contest is nothing to laugh at. Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> go. No, you should do nothing. No, you, you, you go. Go. Now. This contest is nothing to laugh at, father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become knights of Skyloft. If Lonic doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Lonic messes up he has big chance. What if he's not meant to allow to become a knight? <laughs> oh, calm down, my dear. It'll be fine, honestly. It's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Lonic. <laughs> I love this voice. Listen, Lonic, you better fly your heart out today. 
at the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you can thank me later. Now we can all go back to eating our fast food in peace. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony. So try to practice seriously for once. But we're gonna do that on the next episode. I'm calling it here because I'm really worried they're not gonna give me any squeeze time between to call it. 